And with the Siskiyou County fires forcing thousands out of their homes, the American Red Cross is always there to help and they have stepped in. The nonprofit is there giving comfort and emotional support to fire evacuees in Weed with a lot of volunteer support. They are out there and here with me live on the phone this morning is Steve Walsh, Communications Director of the California Gold Country Region Red Cross. Good morning, Steve. Hey, good morning, Nazi. You know, I hate that this is how we have to be having this conversation. Uh, the McKinney fire has forced thousands out of their homes, but the silver lining is that the Red Cross is always there to help when folks need somewhere to go, and we know that that shelter is out there. How many evacuees would you say are there? So uh, last night we had around 70 at our shelter that's in wheat. And what support services are they getting out there? So what the Red Cross's role is uh, in a disaster like this is meeting an immediate needs. So essentially that means we're giving people a safe place to sleep, meals, snacks, comfort, support, uh, counsel when they need it. And then as they, as they continue to stay in the shelter, we have trained Red Crossers that are talking to them every day to help them kind of create a plan uh, to figure out where they're going to go next. Our ultimate goal is to get them somewhere safe and somewhere more comfortable for them. Uh, than in the shelter as soon as possible. So we're talking to them about their options every single day. You know, I just saw a gentleman playing a ukulele there. You know, folks are, are they in good spirits? Are they, are they you know, wh what is the, your take on the vibe of the evacuees and how are they holding up? Honestly, I've been at the shelter for the last few days this week and it's been very calm. I mean, there's always a sense of uh, nervousness and certainly some shock and sadness as these people are waiting to hear when they can go back to their home or what the status of their home is. But honestly, what I've seen every single day is just like that gentleman that you saw playing the ukulele is kind of the lighter side, which is people being neighbors to each other, having conversations, offering support, uh, just like we're doing as uh, Red Crossers. Yeah, you know, time and time again, we do see those people come together when we're in wildfire disasters like this. And it's always heartwarming to hear how people just their best of humanity comes out in times of crisis like this. In California, we see wildfires like this, sadly, every season. Uh, people really do come together and, and donate their time and funds to support organizations like yours that do such incredible work. And we know that donating funds and your time is essential for the Red Cross to care for those people. Um, what, where can folks go? What can they do to be of support? So if you want to sign up to volunteer or if you want to make a financial donation, you just go to redcross.org. And, you know, you talked a little bit about, you know, coming together with, you know, raising funds for us. It's important for your viewers to know that of all the money that we spend, for every dollar we spend, 90 cents of that dollar goes to the people that we're serving. So very little goes to administrative costs and things like that. So we really work hard to make sure that the people that we're helping get the most out of those donations. Yeah, we sure appreciate it. We saw the photo you sent to us. We just showed there also the Salvation Army. They're serving up meals for those McKinney Fire and other evacuees. You know, we, again, you can visit redcross.org to find out how you can donate and support those impacted by the fires with a financial donation. And again, if you can't donate funds, you can always donate your time by volunteering. Steve Walsh with the American Red Cross out of the McKinney Fire Evacuation Center in Weed. Steve, thank you. Thank you. Take care. You too.